Well, we gather on this Friday morning. Upon a lofty throne, I saw a man seated, whom a host of angels adore, singing in unison, Behold him, the name of whose empire is eternal. We gather in prayer and worship, and in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God be with you. Brothers and sisters, as we begin our worship, let us pause to call to mind God's merciful love and seek forgiveness for those ways that we have failed to fully live the gospel message. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first book of Samuel. All the elders of Israel came in a body to Samuel at Ramah and said to him, Now that you are old and your sons do not follow your example, appoint a king over us, as other nations have, to judge us. Samuel was very displeased when they asked for a king to judge them. He prayed to the Lord, however, who, did, who said in his answer, Grant the people every request. It is not you they reject. They are rejecting me as their king. Samuel delivered the message of the Lord in full to those who were asking for a king. He told them, The rights of the king who you will rule over you will be as follows. He will take your sons and assign them to his chariots and horses and they will run before his chariot. He will also appoint from among their commanders of groups of thousand and of a hundred soldiers. He will set them to do their plowing and his harvesting and to make his implements of war and the equipment for his chariots. He will use your daughters as anoint anointment makers, as cooks and as bakers. He will take the best of your fields, your vineyards, and your oil gro uh, olive groves and give them to his officials. He will tithe your crop, crops and your vineyards and give the revenue to his Inuans and his slaves. And he will take your male and female servants as well as your best oxen and your asses and use them to do his work. He will tithe your flo flocks, and you yourself will become his slaves. When this takes place, you will complain against the king whom you have chosen. But on that day, the Lord will not answer you. The people, however, refused to listen to Samuel's warning and said, Not so. There must be a king over us. We, too, must be like the other nations, with a king to rule us and to lead us in warfare and to fight our battles. 
When Samuel had listened to all the people had said, he repeated it to the Lord, who said to him, Grant them their requests and appoint a king to rule them. The word of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Goodness of the Lord. Bless the people who know the joyful shout. In light of your countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name they rejoice all day, and through your justice they are exalted. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. For you are the splendor of their strength, and by your favor our horn is exalted. For the Lord belongs to our shield, and the Holy One of Israel, our King. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When Jesus returned to Capernaum after some days, it became known that he was at home. Many gathered together so that there was no longer room for them, not even around the door, and he preached the word to them. They came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. Unable to get near Jesus because of the crowd, they opened up the roof above him. After they had broken through, they let down the mat on which the paralytic was lying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to him, Child, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there asking themselves, Why does this man speak that way? He is blaspheming. Who but God can alone can forgive sins? But immediately Jesus knew in his mind what they were thinking to themselves. So he said, Why are you thinking such things in your hearts? Which is easier, to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise, pick up your mat, and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority to forgive sins on earth, he said to the paralytic, I say to you, rise, pick up your mat, and go home. He rose, picked up his mat at once, and went away in the sight of everyone. And they were all astounded and glorified God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. The Gospel of the Lord. Several things strike me in this gospel passage that we have uh, this morning, this piece from the Gospel of Mark. The first thing is the, um, the love and the care, the generosity of the, the four men that carry uh, their friend into Jesus' midst, who make great effort we're told that there was a big crowd and there was no way to get in, so they took apart the roof and lowered him down into Jesus' presence. Uh, and it's a reminder uh, to us of uh, the call that we have to follow their example, to, um, to bring into the presence of Jesus uh, via our prayers, and our acts of kindness and compassion and love, uh, our friends, uh, whether they're friends that we know or whether they're friends that, uh, that, are, that we know, uh, don't know their names, but bringing into God's presence uh, those who are in need and uh, being alert and, uh, and observing when someone needs some special help or needs our prayers needs our care, just like these men did to this paralytic. The second thing that strikes me is Jesus 
immediate response, your sins are forgiven. No questioning, no, um, no asking, well, what did you do and are you willing to repent? Jesus very freely offers forgiveness and uh, does so with with looks like not thinking, but that's so much a part of the nature of Jesus. And so it's a message there for us too that uh, we should be ready to forgive, to be reconciled, uh, ready like Jesus to immediately respond uh, without conditions. And hopefully our immediate response will grow in that person or persons uh, so that they will come to appreciate uh, that it's the presence of God in their midst through us that is offering this forgiveness, this love and compassion. Let us uh, gather our prayers. On this snowy, wintry morning, we pray for all those uh, who are traveling and all those who uh, work outdoors for their safety. We pray. We pray that uh, we may emulate in our lives um, the actions of the four friends who bring the paralytic into Jesus' presence be ready to hold in prayer and in our compassion and love those in need, we pray. We pray for all those who have fled their homelands because of war or poverty, violence, we pray. We pray that wars in our world may quickly come to an end and people may be reconciled with one another, we pray. We pause to bring to mind the other prayers that we bring today. For these we pray. For Cecilia and for all who we have promised to hold in prayers, especially those who are recovering from surgery or illness, we pray. O gracious and holy God, receive these prayers of your people and strengthen us in your love, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We bless you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us our spiritual food. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, the fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our offering may be acceptable to God the Almighty. May your people's offerings, O Lord, find favor with you, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they entreat through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with 
Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Father, Holy, Almighty God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints and the whole company of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory is without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Indeed, you are holy, O Lord. You are the source of all holiness. And we ask you to make holy these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them, that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and willingly entered into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup. Once again, he gave you thanks. And giving it to his disciples, he said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have counted us worthy to be in your presence and to serve you. We pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all those who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Paul and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Join in our voices, we now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we might be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look then not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us share with one another some sign of the peace of Christ.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy and blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve you with lives pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may God's blessing be upon you, the blessing of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Let us go forth in peace.